Happy Tea Time! Hey everybody! Welcome to Tea Time with Team Epic Reads. This is your biannual ARC party. What is an ARC party? An ARC party is when we get all of the ARCs for the upcoming season's books and we take a look at all of them. Basically, it's your first look at what's coming ahead this fall and summer. Um, and we just uh, generally geek out about all of the things. So if this is your first ARC party, welcome. welcome. You may be overwhelmed. We suggest um, opening up Goodreads. Yes. And so while you watch and while we unveil the books, you know, go on there and hit Add to Shelf, and you can read all about the yeah. books and everything. Um, and normally we're here at 345, uh, just under the hashtag Tea Time, and chatting on Twitter with the hashtag Tea Time. But and we, for these episodes, we use the hashtag Arc Party. Arc Party. So I will be checking in on Twitter. Now. I'm going to be checking in on YouTube. And we're going to have all of the fun. Um, if you want to just go ahead and set your caps lock on now for all of the excitement. All the feels. <laughs> all of the feels. Um, first of all, let us look what we're wearing today. we got book shimmy Our book shimmy shirts. If you don't know what a book shimmy is, a book shimmy is when you get really, really excited about a book. Yeah. And you don't know how to like express that feeling that you get, so you just have to shimmy. It comes up through your feet. You just have to release the energy through the shimmy. So everybody do a little book shimmy right now. Is everybody ready? Book shimmy was invented in our very first ARC party yeah. a year ago. Because we were opening the books and freaking out. Ah, and people were commenting yeah. on how our bodies sh shook <laughs> with excitement. So... Book shimmy. Book shimmy. That's where that came from. Okay, so. Um, oh my god. Um, tea? Margo just. Tea. Cheers. Take a little. We just got. <laughs> so we were late because. We had a serious panic moment. We thought our YouTube channel crashed. <laughs> We've been trying. We had some YouTube troubles, like with our Google Plus account, and it's all very confusing. So we, like, had to migrate things over, and then it said that we had no videos and that we couldn't, like, but do this, and we were like. What's going to happen? So at the last second, we did find, you know, it's just you got to click the right one button, and everything falls into place. <laughs> so oh we're good. Our adrenaline is amped. Oh, yeah. That was, like, the best would way to... Would you like a cookie? I would like a cookie. Let's get this going. I've got some caffeine. Thank you. Here's a cookie. Um, I'm going to check in on Twitter and see what everybody's saying. Uh, if you're watching this live, there is a form link in the description below. If you don't see it, refresh the page. It's down there. Um, you have until about a half an hour after tea time is over to fill it out. Uh, just go forth and fill it out. We are giving away 20 ARCs today. So 20 of you will be winning one of the books that arrive Mm. within these boxes. You won't know what you're getting. It's like a it's blind a date. <laughs> it is a blind date, but guaranteed you don't have it. Yeah. Bingo. So, um, on Twitter, yes. at Shy Book Nerd says, Hi, Mario and Aubrey Bookshimmy. Hello. Hello. I'm talking with my mouth. Well, also, Daphne at DM Trump said, Cats are locked. <laughs> well done. You know All right, what? so let's get this party started. Yeah. What we, how we usually go is we ask you guys to pick out a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Q7 GIF. Um, so on YouTube or Twitter, tell us what box to open, and we will um, just go now. Say uh -huh. one for six, and we will let this party commence. We'll just sit here and eat cookies and drink tea while you mm -hmm. do that. Because we're all like gone. Um, Shelby Black on YouTube asks, what are your favorite books of all of the moment? Aubrey, Margo. Mm. My favorite book of the moment? Yeah. Off the top of your head. Dorothy Must Die. Nice. I want everyone to read it and get into the pop cultural goodness. Um, I just want to give you everybody a heads up on YouTube. CJ Red One, you may be seeing her commenting. She's an author. She's one of our authors, so hey, CJ. Um, her books are also one of my favorites. Defiance mm -hmm. is fantasy dystopian, which is, like, straight into my heart. Mm -hmm. The book I'm obsessed with right now is Gone Ooh. by Michael Grant. Oh, God, it's so good. And so messed up. All right, I see Magi Bookshelf on YouTube said box number two. Let's do it. It's on your side. Theo, why aren't you helping? Come on, Theo. We should have four open box for. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh wait. This is our first box. This is our open. first box. Two. Four. What Aubrey does it smell like? Can we predict the books based on the smell? All I smell is cookie. <laughs> yeah. How about? Let me put right, the right. cookie down. I don't really have anything to... No. Do we, can we stab it with a pen? <laughs> that works. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. So get Goodreads open, guys. See you. Okay. 
and tweet which ones you guys are most excited to read. Oh, that would have been... Okay, one of these books, I've only seen one in here. But we have shown it on Tea Time before. But not the actual... But this is the first time we get to hold it. I'm going to caress it hard. Give me one. Ready? The Jewel! <laughs> we did a cover reveal for this um, a couple of weeks ago, but now this is the first time we get to touch them. Um, this is definitely a really anticipated... Oh my god, it smells so good. ...book for me. That's got a bit of, of a sweetness to it. Yeah. <laughs> the cover is going to look so good when it's like... When it's real? Yes. And then it's like... I want to like stroke it, but right um, now there's nothing because it's an arc. But it's going to be so stroke. It's like you. I'm looking at it and I know how strokeable it's going to be. The Jewel by Amy Ewing. This comes out on sale on September 2nd, and it's basically like the Mad Men or not Mad Men, sorry, the Handmaid's Tale and the selection. So women are forced to breed. Forced to breed. Pop out them babies. Yeah, and like uh, they are like. Presented. Yes. You have to be presented. And like for chosen your... for your breeding capabilities. Yeah. Show them those birthing hips, girls. <laughs> I would not do well. <laughs> I would not do well. Um, so yeah, you guys have to wait until September. Um, you can follow Amy Ewing on Twitter at Amy Ewing Books. I'm very, very excited for this one. I love the colors of this cover. Um, what else do we have in here? What did you pull out? I'm what pulling out this one, but I'm... I was reading everybody's comments. And <laughs> There's so you went ahead. I just was looking... Wait, what's happening on this? Um, this is oh, Don't yeah. Touch by Rachel M. Wilson. Um, and it is a contemporary um, book, which I was drawn into because um, it's about a girl who... Doesn't who has a fear of being touched? I can relate. I, like I can relate. I don't like being hugged, so um, I can my relate. Be, my best friend uh, does not like being touched. Like, if you like touch her in her collarbone, she yes. has to be removed from the building. Um, so this is a very real problem. <laughs> and um, she's in high school, and then she decides that she wants to be on stage. Mm -hmm. so she's she, an actress. She's an actress. And she's in Hamlet. And she's there's Ophelia. Touching. There's touching. So there's touching. So, you know, there's a boy. Um, and Rachel, she has to touch. Rachel M. Wilson, who's the author, is a graduate of Northwestern University in the writing program. Oh, so isn't that a uh, V. Roth? Yeah. V. Roth went there. The Northwestern writing program is... This one is also on sale on September 2nd. Same oh. date. Same. They have book birthdays together. Yay! Happy yes. birthday to them. Okay, there's a book in there that I can't... Oh! <laughs> I feel like we should save that one for last in the talk. Okay. okay. In the meantime, we will get to... Now look at it. This is Positive. Okay. By Paige Rall. I want to show you this. The interesting thing about this arc is that it's an abnormal size. Yes. You don't normally see... We don't usually uh, publish arcs that are that size. I don't know why they do that. But I don't know either. Also, this is a memoir. Maybe that's why. We don't publish very many memoirs. I don't think we... Not since we've been doing Tea Time. I don't think we've yeah, been doing many. Um, this is about a girl who... This is a memoir for, about a girl who was born with AIDS. And she ended up becoming this, like, very prominent, like, anti-bullying crusader. Like, she's very prominent in the HIV yeah. community and, like, AIDS education and... Just what it's like to literally have AIDS from the day you were born. Yeah. And what, like, stigma that has to come with your entire life. Yeah. And it's interesting because I remember when we were growing up, when back in the day, <laughs> AIDS in the 80s and early 90s, AIDS was a huge problem. Like, a huge, it was scary. It was terrifying. It was like, I don't know, I can't even equate it to anything that's happening today because I can't think of anything. But yeah. It's I mean, very terrifying, so yeah. I'm very excited to read this one because I'm really curious to hear about her story. And She's coming in in May, so we're going to Oh, she is? Yeah. Yes! So I'm excited to meet her. I think that it, she's got a story to tell just inherently. And I, I feel like this is just naturally, I mean, the title's positive. Like, I feel like it's going to be so uplifting. And, and like, like, look how she like, looks so pretty girl. and happy. And uh, This one goes on sale August 26th. Yeah. Pedro all positive. Okay. And there's one more book, guys. There's one more. <laughs> Probably not okay. gonna make okay, it hold out on. of this. Hold one. on. I feel like we need to like hold on. I'm gonna enter I'm gonna this is what it would be. I'm gonna Oh you're interpreting. I'm interpreting Ready? the cover. Or see the if title. you can see that we would freak out about. 
<coughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Does anybody know what that would be? Scene. <coughs> Instant replay. Scene. Okay. <laughs> Scene. Um, what do you guys do? You guys have any idea what that is? Um, I think that there's a lag because everyone's talking about. Um, don't touch. Positive. Oh, I'm positive. Sorry. YouTube is, we're, we're, we're behind a little bit. But we will go ahead and just get to it. We'll just get to it. Ready? Because we're so excited. Oh, there more? Oh, there more. Oh. Oh. I am never letting you go. Oh, my God. I just want to see it in this book. Okay, this is the sequel, In a Handful of Dust by Minnie McGinnis. Com companion. Companion, yes, not a sequel. A companion novel to Not a Drop to Drink. Because you if you have read Not a Drop to Drink, you know that ending is pretty... Shh, don't give it away. <laughs> but yes, so this is a companion. You do not need to read the first book, but we yeah. highly recommend it. One of our favorites of... Is it last year? Last year. It would have been last year, yes. Minnie McGinnis is hilarious and badass. Mm -hmm. Like, she... Basically, if you guys aren't familiar with the series, post-apocalypse and the... Water supply has dwindled, um, and basically there's, like, no clean water left. So um, it's sort of a bit of a wilderness survival adventure meets the road in a uh, way. But in this one, they go from Ohio. They have to, like, hike across the United States to, like, Wyoming where there might be fresh water. So I'm very excited because I love wilderness adventure stories. Yeah, and she just writes them in such a... They're so stark and, like, beautiful, but also, like, chilling. Yes. Like, and they're like, also, oh, like, God. you're, like, this I'm never going to survive. I know, right? <laughs> um, but Minnie McGinnis is a cool author because she, like, knows how to, like, do she knows all how to do this. She can, like, skin squirrels yeah. and, you know cook you things with them. Um, we, Ray Carson was in the office and we heard a rumor that her and Minnie McGinnis are going to go learn how to shoot muskets together and we're desperately trying to figure out how to join them. Muskets, I feel like, would be so difficult because you're I like, know. ah, where does it go? Because the, like, the, the bolts are like, they're like huge. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, they both were writing books that they had to figure out the process of how to do that. Yes. To write it. So, um, Mindy is from Ohio, my home state, uh, and... Uh, An Handful of Dust does not come out soon enough. It comes out <laughs> September 23rd. Um, so that was so excited for this. So that was one box. One box. We have um, Positive by Paige Raw that comes out uh, August 26th. We are going to have a recap of all of this on the epicreads.com slash blog and th later this evening with Goodreads links and all the release date info. Thanks. So The Jewel by Amy Ewing was also in this box. <laughs> And Don't Touch by Rachel M. Wilson was in this box. And, of course, in a handful of... <coughs> Although I feel like that's pixie dust. I know, that's... That way. A, it's like magic. Oh, but you can't breathe with well, it. Well, what would you do with this? Like, throw it in your eyes, then yeah. brawl? <laughs> yes! Um, where's the box? Let's put these back in there. So okay. We're gonna, oh, there we go. We're going to be, be organized this time. How do you guys feel about boxes? All right, we're going to check in with Twitter and YouTube. I'm going to trip over this. Let's see... Um, Dystopian Books on YouTube says Goodreads doesn't work. Did we break Goodreads too? Yes, yeah, Sue Kitty 13 says I think Arc Party killed Goodreads. LOL. Um, a lot of these books are on epicreads.com. You can go through our catalog and there is a, a Goodreads, Goodreads button that you can just add to your bookshelf directly from there. Oh, look so at that. We're there for so all of your needs. So easy. Shameless self promotion. Dylan Earls says just simply tweeted, I need Arc Party. I know, right? I do, too. I feel like there should be one, like, all the time. Maybe one day we'll do an art party, like, for realsies. With, like... Ooh, real people? Like, a real party and real people. If we ever do that warning, I'm really awkward in person. <laughs> I think most bookish people are awkward in person. Yeah, that's so true. So it would be great. Um, they can all be awkward together. Um, oh, people are tweeting what box we should open up next already. Oh, yeah. Uh, everyone's tweeting box three. Okay. You get it. I got it. It's on my side. You tell um, us, what's everybody excited about? I was just seeing that the book nerds have have us trending in the United States. Mm -hmm. Oh, my cookie fell. That's probably why I think I'm starting to get random feed of Ten people seconds. being like, what's art party? And then also, this is an art party. This is an art party. <laughs> We're going to do this for an hour. <laughs> All right, book. It's art party three. slash dance. Dance off. Dance. All right. So box number three, 
Um, are there any other books trending on Twitter? Let me see. I want to see what what is everybody what was no. everybody most excited for in that box? Um, I don't know. I can't see because tweets are happening too fast. I know. Same with the YouTube. Oh my God! Everybody. Um. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. We love you, and we will catch up on all of these You'll comments as much as possible. Let me stab. Okay. Let's stab. Stab. Oh, that is really satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is box number three. Is a magic number. What's in there? Yes. What's in that box? Is it one of Paltrow's head? Oh. Wait. Oh, there's more. <laughs> What's up, Matty Roo? Um, talk about another author that we got to meet on the Dark Days tour and became obsessed with. Do we have um, Cody on hand? I don't think so. This is the sequel to Asylum, which is a crape-tastic book about kids who have to go to an asylum, an abandoned asylum, and um, there's pictures. There's photos in it. It's sort of like Miss Peregrine's, except re like a lot creepier. Yeah, like it's more of a horror than yes. like a than like a ethereal kind of aesthetic. There's a horror. There's a little bit of horror in Peregrine, but it's I not the same Miss feel. Peregrine's is more like a Tim Burton, yes. whereas this is more like a Neil Gaiman, like horror, scary, scary, scary. Like a, a little bit more of a, like a Stephen King ish. Um, this is out. When is Sanctum On... come out? Oh, August 26th. Have you so guys read the, the summer? summer? Are you guys excited for Sanctum? I am. I I'm going to book shimmy. I love creepy books, I but I also am obsessed with books that have photos in them that incorporate them into the story. Yes, Margot is something of a photographer. So I've been told. Um, also, there's animated gifts on the blog, and oh. this one is particularly creepy. There's one for both of these books. I know, but this one is creepier than the first one. Okay, I know you were excited for this one, because... You read the first book, uh -huh. and we adore the author. I'm we like, put this is like a running theme. I know, where we just, I want to put him in my pocket. Yes. Like Polly Pocket, but for our authors. <laughs> Polly Pocket. Um, Sean Williams. Sean Williams. <laughs> Hot Pocket. Uh, uh, this is Crash Land, the sequel to Twin Maker by Sean Williams. I know we have one. Oh, there. okay. Okay, I'm going to scoot out. Scoot out. Okay. First of all, I am obsessed with this cover. Yes. Because the colors are gorgeous. They're beautiful. And they're like starkly contrast this. Yeah, man. But they are of a piece. They are. I wonder what a, oh, it's going to look so nice next to each other. It's so good. I can't wait to see it when I, I see love it. The whole um, cover. This is a sci fi thriller adventure. Mm -hmm. um, it's teleportation. Yeah. And. Um, I don't know how it's to explain it's too much to go It's into. not light side by It's definitely more of like full on. Yeah, they teleport and they're able to change their genes to look however they want to look, to look better. Yep. Um, but every time they teleport, doesn't something like... Well, there's two exciting things. Like some people don't, there's a whole <sighs> sect of people that don't teleport at all because it feels like they're not, it takes away their soul. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Read it. So there's like a whole philosophical aspect of teleportation. Yes. Uh, Crashland goes on sale. Oh, um, November! Oh, that's so far away. Sean Williams. Let's see if we can. He's he like is Australia's the most adorable guy ever. And he's like Australia's James Patterson. Or so I've been told. He's huge in Australia. Yes, he's he writes a lot. Of